Hi guys, I'm Hayato Huseman from Techer Geeks, and I just want to give you a quick run through of the new Android 4.4 home screen launcher uh, on my custom Moto X. Uh, so let's take a look at that. Here you can see this new uh, th this new home screen launcher. It looks a little bit different than it has in the past. Uh, this is the new launcher you're going to find on uh, on Android 4.4 KitKat. So this is what you'll see on the Nexus 5 as well as whatever devices will be uh, shipping or updating to Android 4.4. Um, so here you can see if I zoom in a little bit, just uh, just do a quick tour of the home screen. You can see not a whole lot's changed on the surface. It still has that same uh, the, the same sort of hollow UI that uh, Android's had since 4.1 or really 4.0. Um, but things are a little bit different here. So the first thing you'll notice up here at the top is it is the new Google search bar, uh, and you can see that it says "Say OK Google," and uh, there it is listening to me because I said it. Uh, and so what this does, it kind of takes the uh, it, it kind of takes the active listening from Motorola's Moto X, like what I have, um, and it, it takes that that OK Google Now command and actually builds that into stock Android. And this isn't going to listen to you while the screen is off or anything in the same way that Motorola's um, uh, implementation does. But uh, you know, while you're on your home screen, it'll take you straight to Google Now, which is pretty interesting. Uh, and speaking of Google Now, I kind of want to take you out here. If you look over here, you see I only have two home screens, and that's because they've simplified it a lot on, um, on, on the home screen front. You can see that um, there's this one home screen and there's going to be one to the left. So if I swipe over here, you can see that they've actually built Google Now into the home screen as opposed to being in um, as opposed to being a separate app that you would slide up to. Now, even if you slide up, it'll actually take you to uh, the left hand side of your home screen where Google Now has been uh, placed. And I really like that because uh, building into your home screen kind of just makes Google Now it, it, it makes it a point that Google Now is meant to be this integral part of your Android experience, and for me it really has been. Um, so you can see it's just standard Google Now, and there's nearby events. Uh, Kate Nash is playing soon. Uh, I really quite like her. So uh, back to the home screen, you can see, like I said, there's only going to be one home screen besides the Google Now sl um, slide to the side. Um, and it's kind of done in the same way that HTC did Blink Feed, uh, which is kind of nice. Now. I, I really like that they've only done one home screen because I always find myself using, uh, when, when I'm using a stock Android device, um, I'll find myself only needing one or three home screens and then I, they give me five and I just don't have anything to do with them so they just kind of sit on the sides as, as blank home screens, wasted space. Um, so I really like the, that they um, only made one home screen um, at the beginning. Now what you'll see here, um, this, is the new, this is the new app launcher. The new app drawer, you can see they made it a 4x5 um, drawer instead of the old 5x5 that they implemented in 4.2, um, which I, I actually like the 4, the 5x5 grid. This kind of makes the icons a little bit too big and I don't really like that. But um, yeah, you can see even though there's only one home screen, what I can do is I can go to the app drawer and I can drag an app over and it'll actually create another home screen. Uh, and then if I drag it off, then it'll get rid of that home screen. So it's kind of like iOS in that sense, and I actually really like that they borrowed that feature because, like I said, a lot of the time I'm just uh, I'm, I'm just faced with a lot of unnecessary home screens, and they just kind of go to waste. So I really like how how they've done this now, um, and I've tried it out. You can go. I mean, I I went to uh, 20 pages and got bored. You can add a lot of pages before it's going to stop you. So it's not going to be the standard 5 or 7 that it's been in the past, um, depending on your Android version. You now get what seems to be, you know, somewhat of a uh, somewhat of an infinite number of home screens. Now, um, going back here, you can see, like I said, this is the new app drawer, and um, there's no place for your widgets. And that's because what they've done is uh, now if you press and hold your home screen, whereas that used to bring up a uh, wallpaper changer dialog, now you can see at the bottom, uh, you get a few more options than that. Um, you can see if it'll focus, uh, there you go. Um, there's now wallpapers, widgets, and settings. So if I tap on wallpapers there, uh, it brings me to the standard window of wallpapers. But if I go back and uh, tap on widgets, this is now, um, the widgets now have their own separate drawer 
uh, where you can add whatever you want. It's just the same as it's always been, but it's it's separated now. Kind of going back to uh, before Android 4.0 came along and, and combined the two drawers together. Um, and now the final setting over here is actually called settings. Now this isn't the same settings you'll find if you uh, do that swipe down and tap up there. It's not the system settings. This is actually the settings for the um, for the new launcher itself. And if I tap on that, oh, I missed it. Tap on that. Um, Right now, all that uh, is in the settings is Google Now stuff. So you can see right here, um, Google Now on or off. If I turn it off, then um, it'll take a second. And if I hit home, now I'm actually down to just one home screen. There's nothing on the left or the right. So if you don't like Google Now for whatever reason, uh, you, you can turn it off. You're not being forced into it. So um, you know it's right there if you need to uh, get rid of it. Going back there, I actually want to say real quick, happy birthday, Domenico. He's a friend of mine. Um, so go back to the settings. Um, like I said, it's pretty much all Google Now centric right now. Um, so you can see you can see the phone search, uh, voice, and all, all these different settings. Um, and that's that, that's really just meant to uh, control the different things in Google Now. Um, and going back to Google Now, um, you can see they've added actually a couple new things. They're they're sort of new. They're really just shortcuts to to uh, existing features. So this little button down here, you can see it's a uh, just a finger tapping on there, and if you touch on it, and then it's actually, it takes you to this little reminders dialog. If I hit plus, then it adds a reminder, uh, and Google search just crashed on me because this isn't meant to be run on the Moto X yet, but um, that'll set a reminder for you. Um, and then this little wand down here actually lets you customize all the different things in Google now, so I can set the different sports teams I like, stocks I want to keep up with, places, blah, blah, blah. Um, and ask me how do I usually get around so that way it can tailor to me when it gives me directions to a place I normally go it'll tailor to me um, it'll, it'll give me driving versus walking directions uh, or biking public transit whatever you set it to I drive so uh, I'll leave it right there and uh, then you have this this uh, bottom I uh, the overflow button and if you tap that that's just a menu button it takes you to the settings and I believe that's the same settings yeah same settings as you can access uh, from the home screen. So yeah, I mean, um, not a whole lot's changed with the new launcher on the surface, but actually once you get into it, it's it's quite a bit different from what we've been used to in the past. Um, it takes a couple of features from iOS, it simplifies things down a little bit. I think, I think uh, especially separating the widgets drawer from the app drawer is going to help uh, simplify this for some new users and people who aren't really familiar with stock Android. So I think that was a good move on Google's part. I don't quite like these uh, the, the new app drawer having the icon so big, I really just think that looks kind of ugly. But um, you know that that's a uh, that's a design choice, and that's my personal opinion on that. Um, so yeah, that's been a quick overlook at uh, at the new Android 4.4 home screen launcher. I'm Hayato Husman from Tech for Geeks. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.